How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are finally taking out the Mark IV Supra to go down to Mexico and race the supercharged Huracan Performante owned by Longtail Rally. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember but there was a supercharged Performante on a cruise I attended a couple weeks ago. It was like right when I got the Supra wrapped. We went out there, had some fun. I actually talked to the guy a little bit and we have some mutual friends. My buddy Bilko actually set this up so check out his channel. I will link it down below. He has a badass supercharged Mustang and it's not going to be what you expected is that being said we are going to take out the mark IV super you guys have seen this car before a million times and we're going to see how it does now for some information his car is a supercharged huracan performante um i i believe maybe e85 or a little bit maybe a mixed blend or something and he uh, the kit i believe claims 870 crank horsepower and that's a lot of horsepower i mean 870 horsepower that's a fuckload on a lamborghini you know twin clutch whatever aerodynamics lightweight all-wheel drive that is one mean machine but i think with the drivetrain loss percentage of an all-wheel drive system on and we're doing roll races um i think with that we will be pretty good i might seem a little crazy i might seem a little stupid but horsepower is just a number as we've all seen before the mclaren and this are pretty neck and neck and the mclaren has a like 200 horsepower difference to the wheels and it can keep up with this so horsepower is just a number there are other factors that contribute to it when it comes to racing on you know what conditions anti-lag traction weight you know aerodynamics shifting there's all these different factors that come into play and so i think the super here might have a decent chance if he gives me the hit i think if, if we count it down it's going to be really close but if he gives me the hit I think will be solid and of course I got to have that anti-lag because that anti-lag is killer I'll show underneath my hood right now maybe you're new to my channel hello thank you guys you know hopefully you guys subscribe I'll show underneath my hood and then we will head out actually we got to link it with them then head out to Mexico we're gonna have one hell of a day it's it's already hot so I'm a little nervous about that but we're gonna have one hell of a day let's 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 peep underneath the hood so here we go if you're new to my channel this is what the Supra is rocking it's pretty much a stock block you know stock bottom end all that fun stuff single turbo e85 obviously after market you know intake manifold and all that fun stuff three inch exhaust like i said 700 horsepower just over 700 horsepower to the wheels plenty of fun but we'll see if this thing can keep up with the supercharged huracan performante Yeah. 
do. I might have it. I think we may have popped a couple off. Oh, it's it. Oh, yeah, no, this thing isn't. Oh, yeah, no, I think I. Oh, fuck, I might have blown it up. Yeah, I popped it. Like a hole in the side of it? Oh, fucking massive hole oh, in the side yeah. of it. Yeah. Dude, it's funny. I was gonna God tell Rob to give me a spare on the way. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right, you guys want to do the third run? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> now, now, I'm, I'm, <laughs> now I'm NA. Yeah, there's a fucking. Look at it. It just completely disintegrated it. God damn it. How many Fuck. pounds are you running? It's uh, when I'm at max boost, it's between 29 and a half and 30. Just, that's a lot. It keeps pinging back and forth. Yeah, well, yeah. No wonder it was freaking right with us. Honestly, like, that's not even that Single bad of a turbo. turbo. Like, pounds. that's a lot of boost on that side. I mean, it's a decent sized turbo, but you could go way bigger. Yeah, the impeller's a 72 millimeter. So, I mean, yeah, it's a decent size, but yeah, no. I mean, for stock block, I'm not trying to go over that. Well, you won. We were, <laughs> yeah. we, we only got one like, good run. Though. I know, yeah. right? I heard on the first run you hit the red line. Right? Yeah, yeah, I tried yeah. starting in second. I should have been in third. Yeah, second, that's why I, saw, I was like, fuck. So I'm glad that the, the second race was like an actual clean run. Yeah. But fuck, I still wish I was like, I'm He's also going off of me saying go yeah. after I see him say yeah, go. Yeah, so it was a split second. Yeah, so it was a second. But yeah, they were they definitely were back in right, lane. Right, right. right. Yeah. Not even got after seeing that our idea of racing i'm completely dropping completely <laughs> we even with your busted with turbo, my busted because that yeah. was speed like i've never experienced before that was it that yeah, was racing. on that la on the first run i got into six and i was like holy shit like this is the first time i've ever shifted into six and like kept you know stayed on it yeah. Sure, you know? yeah we were close to 170. oh my god <laughs> kilometers i'm gonna go <laughs> <on now>. yeah <laughs> I mean, what, well, we were in Mexico, you know? We were five minutes, we got a well-paved road that we scouted both directions before we did it. We made sure that there's no... Yeah, let me see the camera really quick, direction. but... And yeah, that, that, that ended it real quick. God. I knew it was going to happen. I was thinking about telling Rob, too. I was like... Uh, I was literally thinking about it. That blew it worse than it did before. But yeah, I mean, dude, good runs. Fuck, it just sucks that it's like over so quick. Oh, dude, this thing. Look at the supercharger on it, man. That thing is wicked. Absolutely wicked. VF engineering. Fuck, dude. I mean, you put like trains on me on the, on the dig. Yeah. I was like, I was trying to reel you in and everything, but it just wasn't working. So, dude, fuck. Yeah, we could have tried like a 40, yeah. yeah. Then it would have been a little bit. Or if we did the hit. That, that yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Try to reel them in. Yeah. yeah. I'm always. I always root for the uh, the tuner car. <laughs> you know, that's got a supercharger on it. But I mean, you know, to take this to be able to, you know, run with something like that. I mean, any like is a game changer. Though. A big really time. Is. Yeah. I mean, the video wouldn't have been as fun if we were like 12 car lengths ahead anyway. Oh yeah, it would have. Like, yeah. This is always fun, no matter how much power you're making, as long as they're both somewhat even, it's yeah. always a better. Yeah. It's always more fun. Dude. Yeah. We had launch control on the, on the dig. Yeah, yeah, I heard the launch yeah. control. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I really don't stand a chance now. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Dude, you know what? The man, the McLaren would be a good run too. Because well, the my McLaren and this are neck and neck. Really? Yeah, yeah, like the only thing that makes a difference is the anti. Like, it's like literally like that. Yeah. So. Too easy, no shit. <laughs> You're right. The McLaren would be a good run. Nice. McLaren would be a real good run. With tires. With tires, yeah. We could try the launch shit too, everything, and then. So, fuck, man. Dude, if Nate would have came too with his Shelby, I'll, do you think this would have been able to hang with his Shelby? I mean, I know his Shelby's fast, but. I think the Shelby would really be at a higher speed. It's once you start going to 100, if everything goes like, and he doesn't have anything break. Yeah. I think so, but then again, I mean, like, I thought that car was faster than anything. <laughs> you thought that was. And here we are, so. <laughs> here we are. On, on the, out on the highway, that all wheel drive just slows you down. Yeah. You know, no, yeah. Big, it, I mean, it's true. Once big, you get up to a certain miles per hour, now you're fucking drawing power away. Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah. If you want to do a bunch of digs, all wheel drive is where you want to be. If you want to do 60 rolls, probably all wheel drive is yeah. not going to benefit you that much. Nope. All right, guys. So they're staging up the cars for a photo right now. Will is going to work his magic. I mean, honestly, really surprising results. I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be close, but I thought I had my money on the perf. You know, supercharged perf Monte like that. I for sure had my money on that. I'm sad that the, the coupler went out. I knew in the back of my head that that was going to be the issue. I just knew it. I was even thinking about picking up a separate one from the shop and having it ready. I brought tools in case I blew one off. I didn't bring another one though and I'm really fucking regretting that right now. Uh, you just gotta be prepared, you know? We're way the fuck out here. I mean, look all around us. There's nothing around us. And now, now, I, gotta, now I gotta limp it the whole way home. And I'll get home, but 
I really wish we could have seen how it would have done without the anti-lag. I really wish we could have saw how it did, you know, from a 40 or something, but we'll come back. We'll put the diff in. We will get it dialed in. Well, I'll change out all the couplers to some four ply. None of this three ply cheap shit that's just on there right now. I need some four plies. We're pushing power. It's hot as balls out here. There's a few things that really contributed to this thing. What did you guys think was gonna happen? Did you think that the Supra was gonna be able to keep up with the supercharged Huracan? Is this, to what is this Toyota doing? You better go around, man. You better not rear end that beautiful car. But it surprised me, like I said. I didn't expect this to happen. So, I don't know. We're gonna have to go ahead and just fix the Supra and try it again. All right, well, we're gonna cruise back. Uh, guys, check out Longtail Rally on Instagram. You know, he hosts a lot of sick-ass rallies, a lot, a lot of car events if you're a fan of supercars and shit in general. Bilko, really great content creator, posts some really sick photos, a lot of hot models, a lot of badass cars. So if you're a fan of that, check out his channel, check out his Instagram. I'll link them both down in the description down below. So check them all out. But honestly, I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm sad, but I'm surprised. So hopefully we get that coupler. We'll come back out here and we'll have some fun.